Good evening, everybody. Come on in and take your seats so we can get started. I'm delighted to see everybody here, but our official welcome, we have the honor of having our physician in chief of the hospital, Dr. Robert Wittes, here this evening, so I would like to ask him to come and greet you this evening. Wow, pretty full house. Thank you all for coming. Uh, we meet today to celebrate the wonder and the ongoing challenge involved in surviving cancer. Um, a few years ago, I made the comment to this group, I've probably done it more than once, that I don't much like the term survivor. It reminds me too much of uh, the context of wars, tsunamis, other kinds of acts of God in which a person is buffeted around and is basically a passive victim of circumstances. Um, what would a better term be, something that could emphasize activism and the ability of people to move forward against all odds in a scary situation, doing what you have to do, most of it pretty unpleasant, some of it exceptionally unpleasant, and getting the job done. Um, I, I can't think of a better word, actually, and since the entire community uses the term survival or survivor and survivorship for coming out the other end of the cancer experience, I've kind of gotten used to it. We were re reminded, though, of the need for activism this week here, this last week or 10 days, in a particularly vivid way, and that is in the form of a of a celebration that the Department of Pediatrics held for about 50 young people who had been treated or still are being treated for cancer and despite this completed a full high school curriculum, many of them with academic distinction. These kids um, were treated at various stages. Some of them were treated as infants or young children some of them as teenagers and are still being treated, some of them, or although many are off treatment now. Um, and it was the most vivid kind of reminder to the rest of us about the courage and the focus needed to achieve important goals and to continue to live a normal life in face of tremendous challenges. It was a reminder also that you don't do this alone. It, and cancer survivors learn the value of community very quickly. Doctors, nurses, pharmacists, social workers, family, friends, teachers, blood donors, other kinds of volunteers in getting through this. It's very hard to do it alone and essentially nobody does it alone. So as many survivors have expressed it, including some of the kids last week, cancer is a real learning experience. The celebration today is about our guests, about all of you who have a, had a cancer experience and survived it. It's not about Memorial Sloan Kettering and its staff, but even so, I can't resist thanking the leaders of our program here, Mary McCabe, Kevin Effinger, and Chuck Sklar especially, for their superb contributions to the care of our patients, their conduct and fostering of clinical research so that we can learn how to do things better in the future and very importantly, for their mentoring of the next generation of physicians, nurses, and others who constitute the real core of the program and will grow and nurture it in the year ahead, the years ahead. Um, over the past few years, in fact, uh, one really gratifying thing that we've seen is that a much larger group of junior and mid-level physicians are coming to take on the challenge of cancer survivorship as their focus. And the core of the clinical program, along with them, is a group of expert, dedicated nurse practitioners who work in particular disease areas and see cancer survivors in the same clinic environment as the surgical, medical, pediatric, and radiation oncologists who treated patients for their cancer when they were under active treatment. Finally, I'll just point out that this is a very opportune time to be developing a program focused on survival, survivors. Um, 
for a number of reasons. First of all, there are an increasing number of them nationally, on the order of 10 to 12 million nationally, uh, in part due to improvements in cancer treatment, of course. Um, a second reason is that the changing face of cancer management will produce more or different survivor issues as the years go on. And I'm talking in that respect of things like much more personalized, targeted therapies as these develop, the increasing inroads of cancer genetics and the risk for complications and other outcomes, and n newer methods of progressively earlier and earlier diagnosis. diagnosis. Many of these developments, um, we hope, promise more specific therapies, more effective therapies, and less in the way of the kinds of toxicities that survivors have had to bear ever since the inception of cancer treatment. So I welcome you. I salute you. I hope that this is a very good day. We certainly feel that it is. And we feel that the whole event kind of symbolizes the ongoing victory that we see in the fight against cancer. Thank you for being here. Thank you.